Hey YouTube, this is Brendan, helping you find the sum or product of distinct zeros or intercepts. Uh, it's a common question that appears on the SAT and the polynomial factors in their graph section. So let's say we had to find the product of the distinct zeros or intercepts for the following function. Let's say our function was f of x is equal to uh, x minus 3 times x plus 2 times x minus 4 squared times x plus 7. And let's say the question was asking us to find the sum of the distinct zeros or intercepts. Well, the way that we find the zeros is we take each of these factors and we set them equal to zero. So setting x minus 3 equal to zero, we would find x is equal to 3. Setting x plus 2 equal to zero, we would find x is equal to negative 2. Setting x minus 4 equal to 0, I would find x is equal to 4. Now notice I only have to do this once. There's no need for me to set it equal to 0 twice because it's squared, because I'm only looking for the distinct zeros. So 4 is a distinct 0, even though it's a double 0. And then setting x plus 7 equal to 0, I get x is equal to negative 7. Now what we can do is we can go ahead and just add all of these values. So if I add 3, 4, negative 2, and negative 7, these numbers all add to negative 2. So we could say that the sum of the distinct zeros equals negative 2. Now what if we wanted to find the product? Well, all we would have to do is multiply these values. So we multiply 3 by 4 by negative 2 by negative 7. And the easiest way to do this is just to multiply straight across. So 3 times 4 is 12. 12 times negative 2 is negative 24. And then you have negative 24 times negative 7. Now the negatives cancel, so this is just going to be a positive number. Uh, 20 times 7 is 140, plus 4 times 7 is 28. So when these multiply out, you would find that the product would be 168. Let's try one more example. So let's say we have this one, and I'm going to give this one to you in a form that is not yet factored. So let's say f of x is equal to x cubed plus 6x squared plus 8x. Well, the first thing we have to do in order to solve this is factor it. We can start by factoring out the greatest common factor, which is just an x. We can take an x out of every term. And when we do that, we have x times x squared plus 6x plus 8. And we find that we can factor the second part into x plus 4 times x plus 2. Now, finding the zeros for each of these requires us to set each of these factors equal to zero. So our factors here would be x, so we'd have x equals zero. We would also have x plus four, which would lead us to x equals negative four. And we would have x plus two, which would lead us to x is equal to negative two. Now, if we wanted to find the sum of the distinct zeros, we would just add these numbers. So we would add zero to negative four to negative 2, which would give us negative 6. And if we wanted to find the product, we would just multiply these numbers. So we would have 0 times negative 4 times negative 2, which would just give us 0. And there you have it. That's how you can do problems that ask you to find the sum or the product of the distinct solutions. We covered two examples. One example uh, was already in the factored form. In another example, we first had to factor before being able to figure out what the zeros were. Thank you for watching.